In this video, we'll uncover what researchers call the Silurian Hypothesis, a mind-bending idea that there could have been advanced civilizations on Earth millions of years ago. Stick around. The clues they've sought out are as fascinating as the questions they raise. How do you even begin to look for evidence of something that lived and vanished millions of years ago? It sounds impossible, right? especially when Earth itself is working against you, erasing its own history through natural processes. But that's exactly the challenge posed by the Silurian hypothesis. It's a fascinating thought experiment that asks, could an advanced civilization have developed long before humans, only to be lost to time? This isn't just idle speculation, it's based on how science identifies traces of life and activity from the distant past. The question is less about whether it's possible and more about how we'd even begin to figure it out. Let's break it down. The first hurdle? The Earth's surface is constantly changing. Plate tectonics endlessly reshuffle the planet's crust, swallowing old layers into the mantle where they're melted and reformed. Erosion wears down landscapes over millions of years, washing everything down into sediment that's buried and compressed into new rock. Add to that volcanoes, earthquakes and glaciers carving up the land, and you quickly realise that very little survives long-term on geological timescales. The remnants of our own society, buildings, roads, even landfills, probably wouldn't last more than a few thousand years. So imagine the challenge of trying to find traces of something that existed 50 million years ago or more. It's not an easy task. Still, scientists have some ideas. When you can't rely on direct artifacts, as in archaeology, you have to turn to indirect measures, markers that might survive the chaos of Earth's processes. One of the big ones is isotopic anomalies, where unusual chemical signatures in rock layers or ice cores suggest something unusual happened. For example, today's human activities leave a huge carbon signature through the burning of fossil fuels. This changes the ratio of carbon isotopes in the atmosphere, and some of that signal gets trapped in sediment and ice. Millions of years into the future, Researchers analysing those layers might see this spike and realise something significant was happening. Something technological. Durable materials are another avenue. Modern plastics, for instance, are known to be incredibly persistent. Even with natural weathering, microplastics would likely still exist on some level far into the future. Imagine trying to find a similar material from an ancient hypothetical civilization. Their version of plastic might have looked totally different, but could still leave microscopic traces embedded in sediment. Then there's concrete, a hallmark of human construction that can resist erosion for centuries or more. While it wouldn't last forever, fragments might still survive in the fossil record under just the right conditions. These are the sort of things scientists would look for. Anything that screams intelligent design rather than simple geological processes. Think of Earth's geological layers as a kind of puzzle left by nature. Each stratum in the rock record tells a part of a story, but it's fragmented and incomplete. Piecing it together is like investigating an ancient crime scene, where most of the evidence has been erased or distorted over time. Even if there were clues left behind, they wouldn't announce themselves as obvious evidence of a past civilization. You would need to look closer, ask the right questions, and reanalyze the data through a fresh lens. It's no wonder this idea has drawn attention in scientific circles. It forces us to rethink how we interpret the past. There's also the concept of what scientists call a hard reset. Earth has this remarkable way of rebuilding itself. Mass extinctions, catastrophic events, and changes in climate all play roles in wiping the slate clean for whatever comes next. 
it's almost like hitting a reset button where ecosystems are reshuffled and new life takes over. Over millions of years, any physical legacy left by a prior civilization could be recycled. From the soil they built their structures on to the ores they might have mined, the planet reabsorbs everything. It's a sobering thought. If a civilization existed millions of years ago, it's not just that they're gone. It's that the Earth may have erased them entirely. But here's where it gets really interesting. The lack of straightforward evidence doesn't mean the idea is impossible. Instead, it challenges us to think creatively about where to look and how to interpret what we find. Is it only about physical remnants? Or could there be clues hidden in unexpected places, like atmospheric changes or even fossilized ecosystems altered in unnatural ways? After all, if an intelligent species existed millions of years ago, their legacy wouldn't necessarily look like ours. Different needs, different technologies, and different environmental impacts could have left their version of a footprint that we don't even recognize yet. So, where do we go from here? Finding a lost civilization, if one even existed, isn't just about digging holes or analyzing rock samples. It's about asking bigger questions, expanding our understanding of Earth's history, and avoiding assumptions about what intelligence might look like. And maybe, just maybe, the clues are closer than we think. What if we've already overlooked something critical because we're searching in the wrong places? If an advanced civilization existed millions of years ago, what would they leave behind for us to find? The most obvious answer might be some kind of structural remains, like fossilized buildings or tools. But in reality, the clues are more likely to be subtle, buried in the planet's geological and atmospheric records. Scientists theorize that markers like unusual isotopic ratios, sudden shifts in atmospheric composition, or even concentrated mineral deposits could serve as potential evidence. These wouldn't scream civilization outright, but they might suggest something unnatural had occurred. The challenge is knowing what to look for and how to tell the difference between something artificial and something naturally occurring. Take isotopic ratios, for example. This is when the relative amounts of different isotopes of an element, like carbon, deviate from what's typically expected. Today, human activity causes shifts in these ratios by burning fossil fuels, which release ancient carbon stored underground. Millions of years from now, that human-induced fingerprint might still be detectable in rock layers, forming a future marker of our existence. If a hypothetical ancient civilization burned their version of fossil fuels, their carbon emissions could leave a similar trace. But here's where it gets tricky. Isotopic anomalies can also happen naturally. So, distinguishing whether such markers were caused by intelligent life would require extraordinary evidence patterns that couldn't easily be explained by natural processes. Now, consider materials. Modern humanity's plastic problem is an unfortunate but fascinating case study. Plastics degrade slowly, and as they break down into smaller particles, they scatter across the environment. Microplastics have already been found in oceans, soil, and even deep sea trenches suggesting they'll persist in some form for ages. If a previous civilization created synthetic materials, similar fragments might have survived in sediments. Imagine discovering tiny microscopic remnants embedded in ancient rock, leftovers from a material so engineered that it couldn't possibly be natural. The challenge, of course, is that we'd need to recognize it for what it was. Without knowing what to expect, such fragments might just be dismissed as geological oddities. Energy use is another area where past civilizations might have left traces. Today, nuclear activity creates unique isotopic byproducts, some of which remain stable for millions of years. For instance, 
elements like plutonium-244 don't occur naturally on Earth, but are produced through specific nuclear processes. It's possible that evidence of widespread nuclear energy use by an ancient civilization could remain if we knew how to look for it. Similarly, burning fossil fuels on a massive scale alters not only the atmosphere, but also the soil and water. If we found significant anomalies in ancient layers aligning with sudden environmental changes, it might hint at industrial activity. But again, the line between natural and artificial explanations is razor thin. The Earth has its own long history of cataclysmic events, volcanic activity, asteroid impacts, and more that can mimic some of these same patterns. The Silurian hypothesis isn't just about whether an ancient civilization might have existed. It challenges us to rethink what we know about Earth and its ability to hide its deeper stories. Our planet, with its cycles of change and destruction, has the power to bury even the most advanced legacies. But what if we're not the first advanced species to leave a mark here? Would that realization shift how we view our place in this timeline? The search for proof forces us to question, innovate, and look beyond what seems obvious. One clue could reshape everything we thought we understood about our world.